Good afternoon, everyone. It's Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to a Netflix preview. The earnings are out tonight. And, you know, this is just such a nice, uh, beautiful chart. And really, the stock's rallying today and actually got to the dream target since the day of the gap. I did say 350, and it's there today. I, I knew it would make new highs, and 350 was the first target after that, and it's doing it. And, and it's doing it, and now it has earnings out tonight. So really, I, I said earlier this morning when I saw this, of course, it didn't look like this, uh, at 375, 400 for the stock to gap up to. But actually, it's going to go beyond that now. <clears throat> Just think where this is going to go. And I think this could gap up to $500 tonight. And the chart's so bullish. And if it does that, it's probably going to go red on the day intraday tomorrow unless it holds, which, you know, it very well could do. This is going to have a gap up tonight. It's not going to gap down. And, and if it gaps down, it's going to be a stinky gap down, and I'm probably not going to do it. I could be wrong, but I doubt it. I don't think this gaps down. And I don't think if it gaps down, it's going to be a quality good gap that would rate over 20 points for my system. If it does gap down, I'll look at it, but I highly doubt that's going to happen. My earnings call, my preview call for Netflix is A, it gaps up, and B, now that it's hit over 350, I think it's going to gap up to $500. That sounds insane, but I think it's actually going to do that. <laughs> there, there's, there's so much power in this. So much power. And I was having a conversation in the room today. Someone said, you know what, they think it's overvalued. I, I understand where people are coming with this. They think, gosh, you know, what, that's the, what this company does. But, they, the, but the reality is it doesn't matter, okay? Something's never overvalued or undervalued. It's valued exactly what it's worth. Right now, if people are willing to pay this for the stock, then that's what it's worth. It's just like saying you don't want to short something that's at $10. You think, God, a good company, a solid company, amazing company, the stock price, the strike price might be $10 a share. You think, God, this, this company is just totally undervalued. People were saying that about Groupon a year ago. Uh, and, and it was when it gapped down, and at one point it was at $6. They said, oh, this company is just, you know, it's undervalued or whatever. But it just kept going lower. So, you know, things are worth exactly what they're worth. And that's how you know how to trade them. It's actually the great thing because if there was hidden stuff to know, then it would be difficult to trade for a living. But because you can see exactly what the price is, you know exactly what people are willing to pay for it. And that is exactly what it's worth. And something can keep going higher just like something can keep going lower. For, but for a day trade, to trade as a bullish gap tomorrow, if this gap's up to 500, it's, it's, I, you, I wouldn't do anything with it because I, you're not going to fade something that is in a bullish uptrend that is just broke out to new highs. And you just can't short something like that. But it probably will go right on the day intraday and then follow through later. Um, but then again, it could hold in the day because if it gaps up, you know, and does a, a, a basically a beautiful, beautiful bullish gap, which I think this is going to do, then it's higher in the chart. And as crazy as it sounds, things can keep going forever, you know, in either direction. So whatever you think about Netflix, the company, whether you think it's overvalued or not, people are paying this much money for it. And this chart is keep going higher. And when I actually did this here, when I made this call on Netflix back here in January, it, it was a great call. Actually, if this goes up to $500 today, that'll be in 10 months. Then if anyone bought this bullish gap, which was a corrective gap, which was a gap that changed the trend in the chart in the immediate buy when it gapped up here $100 back in January 24th in the earnings in first quarter. You know, profit would be on this today if it gaps up to $500, $350 for in one share if you just bought one share of it. Just bought one share of that, you would have made three hundred fifty dollars. If it goes up to five hundred, you never look back. You were never down. That's why understanding gaps is so crucial. It's so critical. I don't think people realize how important gap trading is to absolutely every type of trading: day trading, swing trading, core trading. Now, I day trade. I don't do anything else. But there is, without a shadow of a doubt, if I ever chose to swing or core trade, I do it just the same and just as well as I do my day trades. The fact is that you cannot take overnights unless you understand gaps. They can hurt you if you don't understand them, or you miss taking good positions if you don't understand them. 
or you take things off in something that's going to work if you don't understand them. So you got to know gaps for everything, everything that you do. My Netflix preview is that it gaps up to $500 since it booped over $350 today. Earlier I said $375, $400, but there's no way now. If the stock's going to gap up, it's going to gap up big time. And if it does, the market and everything else is going to be pulled up and the market will gap up then tonight. So in, in, in at this point right now, this is how I'm looking at Netflix now. The stock hasn't closed today. It's 1 o'clock. It's got three more hours left, but I don't think it matters now at this point. It's going to hold looking like this today. Beautiful fall through Netflix. Amazing pattern. Uh, just fantastic. It's done everything right and more. So we'll see what it does. This could very well gap down, and then I'll look at it to short tomorrow, but I don't think so. <laughs> And instead, I think it's going to gap up big time now that it's rallied over 350 here into a lunchtime play. I mean, look at this, actually. Really nice. Really nice move up in here. Whoop. Loop-de-loop. -loop. Actually, even here, this was a better entry in here, right over 345, right up to the number. Actually, it's gotten up to 352.63. Look at this thing. So this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com with a Netflix preview. Earnings are tonight. My call is Netflix gaps up. Number one, where it goes, I don't know exactly. But at this point now, since the stocks rallied so well today, it's gotten a lift. It's gotten to the dream target that I said back in January of this year, over 350 today, just the afternoon before earnings. The stock's most likely going to gap up tonight to $500 or some thereabouts. And that's the scoop. So if you'd like more information on how to learn how to read gaps and trade gaps and play gaps and understand gaps, I'm doing a gap class this weekend, October 26th and 27th. If you'd like more information, email me at melissa at Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.